Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about a little known feature in Salesforce CPQ called custom scripts and how you can use that feature to conditionally uh, hide or show fields in your price drawer inside the, uh, the quote line editor. So uh, there's going to be a little bit of code in this video, um, but it's relatively easy to understand and I'll post the code snippet in the description or in the comments uh, of this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to this tab and we have a custom script here that I've called hide drawer fields um, because the fields that we're going to be dealing with are inside the price drawer inside the quote line editor. And what I've done here is I've written in the code field uh, a JavaScript function that is going to isolate the quote line object and a couple of fields on the quote line object and use an if statement to tell uh, the quote line editor whether to show or hide it. So uh, the first block here is again focusing on the quote line object and the field which is a custom field that I've added here for storage size that I want to only show um, if it's uh, if the product that's selected is the cloud storage product. And the way I'm isolating that is by filtering on the product code field um, not equal to cloud storage. Um, that way we tell the quote line editor, if the product code is not cloud storage, return false, meaning show nothing. The second block here is very similar. And again, we're still looking at the quote line field. And in this situation, we are looking at the description field. Um, this is just an example. Again, you can apply this to really any field that's inside the, the uh, standard line drawer uh, field set. Um, I just chose description because it's relatively easy. Maybe the use case is you want to uh, only show the description for certain products because you use the description to uh, display on your order form downstream. So the scenario here is that uh, if the product family equals hardware, then we also want to return false or show nothing um, specifically for this field. So what this looks like, we're going to hop into an example quote and we'll go to edit lines and I'm going to add a couple of products. I'm going to specifically add the cloud storage product um, based on the product code. And then I'm going to select uh, another product here that is part of the hardware product family because that's uh, what our second code block is dealing with. I'll hit select. And then I'll expand the price drawer on both of these. And you'll notice that description and storage size is present for cloud storage so that I can say I want six gigabytes worth of cloud storage and I can put in a custom description. And because the copy machine product here is uh, hardware and is also not cloud storage, uh, neither of the other fields uh, apply. So what's great about this is that if you, you know, have certain conditions or certain subsets of products that you need to filter based on information um, or the products themselves that are added to the quote line editor, um, you can use this and flex really in any way. You can look for more conditions. Uh, let's say you wanted to apply it to uh, multiple, uh, you know, multiple product codes or something of that nature. Um, very similar to a Salesforce formula field, you can use the double pipes or the double ampersands um, in order to add multiple conditions um, within this if statement um, to make sure that it focuses on the exact specifications that you want. Um, a couple things to note about custom scripts. One, uh, any fields that you reference inside your code snippet need to be referenced inside uh, the quote line fields. Um, specifically for this custom script, we're dealing with quote lines. So all of my fields are quote line fields. However, if you have quote fields or quote line group fields that need to be considered, they must be added here to this list. Um, another thing to note is that once you have created this custom script, uh, you need to plug it into your settings. So you can navigate to this page by going to setup and installed packages and hitting configure on your Salesforce CPQ package, and then coming to the plugins package. 
Now, depending on whether you're using the legacy quote calculator or the current quote calculator, I just add them to both. Um, but you'll see I've copied the name from the custom script and added it here and hit save. Um, so uh, the other thing to note is that any fields that you want to reference need to be included inside the standard line item drawer. Even though we're, con we're controlling the conditional nature of those fields, that part happens inside the script. So if we pop open the standard quote line drawer here, you'll see that both storage size and description are present. Um, one thing that is a little bit of a pain is that you can't necessarily control the placement of these fields. They're going to stack up in order. Um, so be conscious of that as you're thinking through how they're going to show and hide for your end users. Um, and best of luck using this. If you come across other situations or other page security plugins that you've used in order to modify the, the QLE or other aspects of the UI, um, please share them in the comments and uh, let's spread the knowledge around. Thanks.